Hi guys, Ben Funderburg with Hey Man Fishing. And on today's video, I'm gonna show you how I target bass with live scope. So stay tuned and enjoy this video. Hey Man Fishing. Okay, so on my boat, I got a G3 uh, 17 Sportsman. I got two graphs at the helm. Uh, one, uh, 93, I, I strictly use it for uh, my navigation, my fish chart. Uh, then I have a 126. Uh, when I'm riding around, I'm always looking for uh, drop-offs and points, rocks, uh, you know, something of interest. I usually mark it and I go over it a couple of times. Uh, if it's a good, if it's a good, um, waypoint to be making i keep it and then you know make a title for it and all like that so i can come back later to fish it up in the front i got a 122 garmin with uh, a 93 on on the front of it i uh, strictly use the 93 for my chart uh, for my fishing chart so if i'm riding around i find uh, something of interest I mark my graph. I got them network. I got all my graphs on network. I'm using the Garmin hub. So all my graphs are network. So if I put my point waypoint on my graph in the back, I mean at the hem, it'll pop up here in the front for me later as I'm trying to, you know, get closer to it. Uh, my live scope set up. Uh, at one time I had it just on the trolling motor and I found out I didn't like it like that because I couldn't use my anchor lock, lock on this force. Um, so I ended up, what happens, well, let me back up. What happens on the force with the, uh, the, the live scope unit on it? So if you anchored and you're trying to target a fish, you can't, you can't have both. You can't be anchored and moving your, your uh, live scope around, sweeping so you lose your anchor spot so the way i saw that i got on uh online just like everybody else does researching on what what i could put up there to uh you know use my anchor lock and also independently move my live scope around and so i found a company called right height turret there's many other ones out there. there's a live scan uh, I think they got one out now that's even got what the, like a gyro so uh, once you point it in a particular direction it don't come off the boat it, it just stays right on target so let me pull this up for you show you my live scope so I got the live scope on this uh, this right height uh, right on the end here and course i got my i made this little orange the one that was on there is just too small i couldn't see it so uh, i made this uh, little orange arrow here and put on there so i could see what direction my my live scope was pointing at and i got it in forward mode and my i keep it in forward mode 90 95 percent of the time uh so the right height comes with pedals most of them do if you're going to have any setup like this where you're going to operate your uh you want to be anchor lot and you want to operate your uh, live scope independently uh they're going to come with a pedal where you can turn it see how that is turning to the right i can turn it to the left sweep that way i'm scanning so you can operate it that way and uh also there's a a remote control on some units uh, like the live scanner, I believe they come, it comes with a remote control and maybe a, even a foot pedal. Um, this right height comes with a three speed and a five speed. I got the, I got the three speed. It moves a little bit slower, but that's what I want. I want to, I want to sweep slowly to see any fish or see any structure. Um, now one other thing I did, um, when I'm, when I'm in the water, and I'm, I'm approaching a target on my uh, chart here. I'm looking at it. I'm approaching. I may be, I don't know, 100 feet out from it. Uh, you know, I done cut my engine, and I'm moving in on it with my trolling motor. 
Okay, so I got some I got some waypoints out here that I'm looking at. And I guess I'm probably about a hundred foot away. Uh and I'm moving toward that target. Or that I got some brush. Uh, I don't know, maybe a stick up tree in the water and stump. So I got that mark on my graph. So I just all I do is I spot lock it and uh whatever choice of rig I'm I'm gonna fish with, uh, and then usually like you see that's a good brush pile right there. All right, bass coming up on it here. Let me get him. Come on. And uh, one thing I added to my boat, uh, I put a ribbon down here because I like to, I want to know what direction that wind's blowing from. I catch more fish on this new rig than I do anything else. Uh, So, see what I'm looking at. I got a, I got a drop off. There's a fish going down that drop off. Right, here we go. Let's get some action right here. He's on there. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, I'm targeting that drop off. I already got one on here. Good fish. Good fish. I need to get my. I don't know if I'm going to get that. Come on here, buddy -o. Yeah. All right, so, decent fish. All right, so, you see the fish, you see the fish in front of me. Uh, I got my live scope pointed out to them. Let me do that again. You hit it. He got it. Ah, oh, yeah, good fish. Good fish. Yeah, right on that drop off. Yeah. 